I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to talk about Dell PowerEdge R630 servers and specifically we're going to discuss how do I rack it? Well hey thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R630 server. Do us a favor if you find anything in this video useful click that like smash that subscribe. Well in this video it's going to be um, really about how do I take my server and put it into the rack. We're going to show you how to rack your R630 server. All right, so we're going to show you how to actually just uh, put the rails into the rack and then uh, put the server into the rack. We're not going to do any cable management or anything like that. So two of the guys on our team, uh, two of the techs are going to actually help with this. So uh, we're going to start by uh, putting in the left rail. So let's go ahead and uh, put the left rail in. So just make sure there's two different rails. There's a left and right. Uh, so, you know, so obviously make sure you have the left. Um, so we have two guys to make sure that we get them on the right uh, notch. We're putting them on to... Uh, to 18. Um, it's labeled on the front and the back of the rack. You just want to make sure that you get it in um, you know, the same on both sides in the front and the back so it's not off a little bit. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll put on the right rail. Uh, you can see it's really you know, pretty simple overall to hook them up. So we're going to do the same thing and put it on 18 here. Hook it up in the back, get it set up in the front. It just clicks right into place. Really, honestly, it's a, it's a pretty simple process. I do recommend two people makes it a heck of a lot easier. You can do it with one, uh, but two is a lot easier to do. Now we're just going to simply grab the server and we're going to put it in. All right, so now we're going to actually uh, put it into the rails. So the first thing you want to do is uh, take the inners and slide them out. So they'll come all the way out. There's two little sets and it'll click into place. Then we're going to uh, grab uh, the server itself. Uh, like I said, I do recommend two people just to make it a little bit easier. Uh, you'll notice on the server there's these rivets right here. Um, these rivets are important because there's little cutouts uh, on the rails. And essentially all you need to do is just line those up properly. So we're going to go ahead and line this up. Okay, nice and simple. Your side look good? Mm -hmm. All right, so now it's all lined in. We're gonna, um, it's supporting our weight. We're gonna push it back. You can hear it kind of clicked into place. And then now to actually move it in, there's the tabs on the side over here that you just need to push in and you can actually slide it back. And then again, you'll hear it click in and now it is uh, physically into the rack. And it's really just that simple. So uh, thanks for stopping by to learn how to uh, put your R630 into a rack. If you are looking to uh, buy an R630 yourself, do us a favor. Email us at sales at cloudengines.com. That's sales at cloudengines.com. Thanks for stopping by. Take care.